Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the first steps in troubleshooting when your media is offline and Avid Media Composer. Nine times out of ten, it's uh, one of these two things. Uh, first, the file path isn't correct going to the media. And second, you might need to re-index the databases. So just going to cover both of those things briefly, show you what you need to do. And hopefully, um, at least in my experience, I found that doing these two things uh, solves your issues most of the times. If not, leave comments below in the bottom, tell us what's going on, and we can help try to troubleshoot from there. But let's get into it. Um, so we're here in Media Composer. You can see my media is offline. Um, so first thing you do, you want to check where the media is coming from. Check that hard drive and check the file path. Avid Media Composer has a very, very specific file path that it needs. Um, like the, the folders need like to be named this exact way um, at this exact place. So let's dive into that. And just a reminder, uh, this is not for AMA linked media. Um, this is for uh, the, like the MXF files that are imported in, that are transcoded in. Um, these aren't for clips that you AMA link to. That's a whole separate thing. So let's just quit out of Media Composer. Whenever you're messing with um, you know, your hard drives and the file pass and whatnot, trying to link up your media, it's best to just close out of Media Composer, uh, just a best practice. And let's just wait for it to go. Okay, so here uh, over in Finder, this is my hard drive that I'm trying to link to. You know, I'm sitting here like my media is on this hard drive. I know that for a fact. Uh, I have a bunch of other projects on here, but because of Media Composer's kind of OCD-ness, uh, that it needs the specific file path in order to see these MXF files. Um, I can have multiple projects on here. I just rename the Avid Media file folders to something different so it doesn't see it. So this particular project, um, we want to find the folder um, that's called Avid Media Files. It needs to sit on the root level of the hard drive, so the very base of the, the hard drive. Um, and here, you know, we can see, uh, well, let me explain. It needs to be AVID, capital A, space, media, capital M, files, no space. AVID, space, media files, no space. So it needs to be exactly like that, or AVID isn't going to see that folder with your media in it. So here, this is the folder that actually contains my media. And we can check here, oh, it says AVID, space, media, space, files. Where's the problem? Yeah, the space between media and files. We need to remove that. So let's remove that, hit return. And this, you know, spoiler alert, that's going to solve my problem. I did this on purpose so that media would be kicked offline. But let's drill down even further so you can see, you know, if there are other problems, you know, in folders beneath it. So inside of Avid Media Files, double click it, open it up, you'll see an MXF folder. This is the only thing that should be in here, and it should be capital MXF. So double check, make sure it's spelled exactly like that. There's no extra space at the end, no extra space at the beginning. Double click it. And then here, this is the computer name. So uh, by default, your computer name is one. If you're in a shared uh, editing environment, the computer is probably named something else. So this, you know, the what, what spawned this, uh, you know, tutorial was the other day, I was in a shared editing environment and I'm trying to, uh, get this media back online and for the life of me I knew um, the computer was named Avid 5.1 um, and again there, there was no space in there so this computer I know it's Avid 5.1 I've been doing this you know for this company for years Avid 5.1 Avid 5.1 you know make sure that that folder is named the computer name what I didn't realize is one of the IT people went in and change the computer name um, to Avid 05.1. So uh, none of my media was showing up. What I did, um, and I'm getting in a little of the weeds here, but this is good for you to probably hear You know these examples in real life. So what I did, I checked out some of the other projects that were linking properly, checked out their file pass, you know, Avid Media Files, no space, uh, MXF, and then the, the computer name, it was Avid 05.1. 
0.1. Oh, light bulb went off. I renamed this folder, which for us is named one, you know, if we're just on our personal uh, computer and we're not in a shared environment, uh, renamed it to Avid 05.1, relaunched Avid, all my media was back. Voila. So long story short, uh, MXF, and then in here, this is the computer name. By default, if you're not in a shared uh, editing environment, it should be one. If you have a ton of media in here, there might be a two folder or a three folder if you have you know, a, a ton, a ton of media in here, because there's only so many files um, that you can house in one of these folders. And Avid takes care of all this in the back end automatically. You don't really have to worry about that. So uh, go into this one folder and you should see a creating folder. Uh, I don't think technically that folder needs to be there in order for you to see these files, um, but it's just best practice. If there is not a creating folder, capital C, uh, creating no extra stuff at the end, make sure that's there. That's just a best practice. Um, and then lastly, um, the kind of part two that I mentioned earlier, uh, deleting the databases. Sometimes Media Composer, you know, your media is there, um, you know it's there, you know the file path is correct. You want to delete the two databases, you know, if Media Composer is still not seeing it. These databases, um, from my understanding, basically, um, Media Composer says, you know, it's basically, you know, it points to all these different files and it links to, you know, all the different source clips over in Media Composer. So we know this MXF file links to this, you know, uh, master clip inside of Avid. So um, sometimes for whatever reason, these two database files, they get corrupted, they just get confused. Um, you move over to a new computer. You just need to nuke these two files, this .pmr and .mdb file. Uh, if you uh, delete them, just move them to the trash. Um, when you relaunch Avid, uh, it's going to, uh, a dialog box, box is going to pop up and you'll see a little bar, you know, go across and says re-indexing, you know, the files. Um, I'll actually show you that in just a minute. Um, and so what that's doing, it's rebuilding these two files to say, hey, this MXF file points over here. If, um, if you delete these database files and you relaunch Avid and it doesn't prompt that box, that means something in your file path is incorrect. So that Avid space media files, go back, check that, check MXF, check the computer name, which is one in our case. You know, uh, I think almost every single time that's happened to me where it doesn't re-index and it's supposed to, uh, it's something in that file path that's uh, generally incorrect usually the computer name like I experienced just the other day. So let's just relaunch Media Composer real quick. And now back here in Media Composer we can see our media is back online and all all is good. So let's go back let me show you what happens uh, real quick when we delete those two database files. So quit out of here and let's make sure we are fully out of Media Composer. Wait for this little dot to go away. There we go. Okay, so here, uh, let's go back into the Avid Space Media Files No Space folder, go into MXF, go into one, go find those two files, .pmr and .mdb, select these two, right click, move to trash, that's it. Don't worry about it. They automatically get rebuilt as long as you have the file pass correct. So, and you're not deleting any media. These are database files um, for Media Composer to talk to itself. And let's relaunch Avid. And here you see this is uh, what should happen when you're indexing or re-indexing these files. Uh, so I have a tutorial on my website that walks you through a lot of these same steps. Uh, I'll link that below. Uh, I really, really hope you found this helpful. Uh, this is a couple steps for you to check when your media goes offline in Avid Media Composer. Um, if uh, you're still having troubles, leave comments below. Uh, I can help troubleshoot them or I'll try to. Others can help troubleshoot too. Uh, that's why we're a community helping each other grow and learn uh, all together all at the same time. Um, so yes, that's it. Uh, hit, hit that uh, like button 
If you found this helpful, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one, and I will see you guys around in the next video. Bye.